Hey everybody, Tony Gohart here. Um, now I was about to say yet again for punks doing stuff, but this is actually a different channel. This is going to be the first video for my new channel that's going to be all cooking stuff. So this is definitely going to be pretty fun. And I decided since this is going to be the maiden voyage, I might as well take that chance to uh, do something fun and nautical with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a seafood feast for the first video. So, so far I've got um, my red potatoes right there. I've got way too many carrots. And I was going to get um, corn in the husk, you know, just the normal cheap way. But this was the only way that they had it. So I'm going to get this. I mean, it's more expensive just because it looks nice, but really normal corn would have done just as good. So I'm going to take one of these and chop it into maybe thirds, quarters, I don't know. I'm going to leave some over, leftover, that way I can make some uh, elotes with it because I love elote. But this is going to be a seafood making thing. I will get around to showing you guys how to make some delicious elotes in another video. So I'm going to do that, and on top of that, that gives me the perfect opportunity for me to test out this guy. My new two-quart uh, behemoth right here. This is what I'm going to make the, uh, the crustaceans in. But for the vegetables, I can find either my pan or I might just do this, my little combo like that, and steam it. The reason that you want to steam it up first is so that way it can... Get going because this stuff is what's going to take the longest. Um, the uh, crab and lobster and all that, that only takes like maybe 10 minutes to do. You don't want to do it too long because you don't want it to get rubbery. So I'm going to chop that up, cut it up, get it all set, and then I will get the rest of the stuff going. Um, there's not really a recipe. I mean, I guess I could throw something on there. Um, just general guidelines because, you know, with cooking, generally uh, you don't have to follow everything to the T. Just kind of do it to taste. Um, that's the best way to do it because everybody's taste palette is a little bit different. So I'm going to get started up on that and I'll be back. All right, so it is all starting to look pretty good. Um, again, those veggies are going to take a bit to cook. So I've got them in there. I did sprinkle on some other stuff. I did sprinkle on a tiny bit of Tony's. I sprinkled on a tiny little bit of garlic powder. And I also put some black pepper in there just a bit. Um, got it all crunched up because I was going to need the black pepper uh, grinder for when I do the uh, butter. But I do also have the garlic. That's all minced up. It is inside the pot. It's ready to go. I've got the pepper grinder right there. And then these are what I'm going to be doing. Uh, you're not even going to be able to see this because everything's all iced over. But I do have two things of good snow crab and then two lobster tails. So I'm going to throw those in as soon as it looks like it's about ready. Again, the cook time on the crustacean isn't going to be all that long. So mainly it's just waiting on the vegetables to be good. So I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to sit back, let that heat up, have a little sip of some drink and listen to some morning glory while I'm waiting for that. Um, everything else is pretty much in order and this should go all pretty smoothly. I don't see anything going wrong, but you never know. Something could always happen. All right, so the vegetables have been cooking for about 20 minutes and they are looking pretty good. The skin is already starting to peel from the potato, but I decided to get the um, garlic butter started and this looks really good. Look at that. Mm. I put some uh, cracked pepper in there, um, of course, the minced up garlic and then the butter and that stuff is all going good. So let me get back over here. Um, that stuff is going good and the the food is about to get put inside the pan. I might put maybe one ounce of water in there, you know, just to kind of make sure that nothing gets stuck. Nothing should get stuck because it's all buttery. But I'm about to start that up and it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. So this should be done pretty quickly and be absolutely delicious. Well, it does look like I miscalculated the time a little bit. Um, I just had a drink. Um, yeah, I kind of miscalculated the time on that because the, uh, the stuff was frozen, so of course it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, uh, I opened it up. It smells great. Uh, the garlic and the butter is definitely doing awesome. And just the smell of seafood in general is always good. So I'm going to give it, I'd say, about maybe another five minutes. Check on it. Then probably put in another five minutes until it's finished. I highly doubt that it's going to go past 20 minutes completely, even though it was frozen. Because uh, seafood is very light. It's not all that uh, dense and it doesn't take all that much to be able to cook it. So 
I'm just really, really anxious to hurry up and get on and eat this because I'm hungry and it is already past dinner time. So, you know how that goes. All right, it looks like it has cooked up enough. Um, everything looks amazing in this. This lighting might not be too good, but this is the end result. I try to kind of plate it in a fantastical way to make it look amazing, just like I know it's going to be. And there we go. So you got the corn, potato, carrot, and all of that delicious, delicious seafood. So that's all right there. And um, yeah, I let it go for like another five minutes. I came back and it looks, it looks fine. So I dropped all the rest of the vegetables in the middle, kind of fanned out the legs and claws to make it look nice. And this is definitely going to be awesome. This is definitely going to be something good. Um, so yeah, that's it for the first video. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, definitely subscribe. And uh, drop a comment in the comment sections. Let me know if you tried this, uh, which ways I should probably try and do something, uh, you know, because that's the best way for, um, for good recipes to get spread is just by word of mouth. Seeing and doing, seeing and doing. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.